Oh. The second prototype set for the diesel, full diesel skids for the JT. How you doing, Wayne? Oh, pretty much got them all mounted. Yeah. Right? Yeah, what, what you see is what you're gonna get. I mean, there's a couple more things we're still finishing. We got a couple more arms and mounts and stuff we gotta make for them, but for the most part, the <clears throat> how different are these from the skids that are on Spartacus? Silver one, yeah. Everything? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Everything's different. Um, the engine skids bigger to help protect the um, DPF filter that's right here. Um, which so yeah and it comes all the way over and it actually attaches to the factory lower control arm mount so you can't crush this section to protect that because I don't want to know what that costs to replace that okay um, and then you have the uh, what the what is this one called well, it's not a transfer case. No, the thing that's there. It's Exhaust. Well, it's basically a Cadillac converter for the diesel, but I forget the actual technical term for it. Okay. Um, that's what's underneath this skid. And what's well, underneath that? A non-factory cross member. No, this is a fabricated cross member that we had to make because of the gas tank skid. <laughs> Because factory, you know, you have the factory transfer case kit here. Well, that's all attached to this cross member factory. Well, to do this, that has to go away, which now this has no support in the center. Uh, it's okay. kind of a snowballing effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, well, it's getting there. Should we go to our corner? Today's a, this month we're focusing on corners. JK corners, JL corners, hopefully you're getting cut this week. I've said that every week. And uh, we're gonna do a little comparison between some of them, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Not 100% finished here, but letting you guys have an idea. This first set of corners is here, the two-door corner. And it's a stretch, how many inches? Eight inch stretch. An eight inch stretch, which when we say that, I mean, obviously it's a really big hole, but we basically have moved the axle back eight yep. inches. The center line of the axles moved back eight inches. So when we have an eight inch stretch corner, you can kind of no gas see the eye. So the factory flare would be about right here, right okay. next to these bolts. Okay. So, so that kind of gives the you the idea. Backwards, that's correct. <clears throat> the ones that are next to it are just a regular four-door corner. Factory, yep. go right over the factory. Yep, floor. we'll fit with the factory flare um, or any aftermarket flare. They're yep. designed to go with the flares. Yep. These do not have a flare. You don't get an option. Do we make them with just a regular opening? Yep. So they have mm -hmm. standard opening. So you have standard six, six and, and eight. eight. And, and then you also have the Guardian version, which the only difference with that is they work with our Guardian series sliders. Right, they have a different Which flange. has a notch right here because our sliders interlock with the corner right, right here. Right, so we make the slider come all the way back to where that new hole opening is. Yep. <coughs> These are the tail light buckets uh -huh. um, that do go in there. And let's see, let's grab the right one, this one. So. You get French thing like that. Yep. Welded together. And all metal finished and all, and finished. And all of the fun stuff. Either off-road only or max built trail trails yep. that go in there so your light is protected. It's no longer hanging out. In the 
And the JLs will be just like that. Yep, and the JLs are the same. Now, um, there is a different brake pattern. Is that what Jake said? Between a two door and a four door? Same brakes, but the back spacing is. The spacing is different on the radius. Different between the two door and the four door. <laughs> yeah. And that we've played with and found out the hard way a few times. But, yeah. But you gotta figure it out. And how do you suspect the JL is gonna be? The same. I've already tested that theory. Yeah. Between the two door and the four door? Or mm -hmm. the same brake profile? When I figured Lindsay's corners out, I figured them out on a two door to begin with. The radius. Okay. I never finished the two door corner. But to figure out the shaping of the body, I did it on a two door and walked to Lindsay's four door and held the piece up there and went, oh, it's the right. same. Both the same. Well, that's mm -hmm. nice. That's nice. <coughs> so in theory, your two door corner when you cut it this week. Should fit. Should fit, in theory. Now, you're figuring out how to stretch that also. You're gonna mm -hmm. pull back. Yes. Okay. Does anybody have questions? There's Chris Peterson, Vince, nobody have questions about Corners. Obviously, we make corners for CJs, TJs, to, YJs, to current. JKs, and four door JLs. Yes. Now, two doors. I week. don't have this corner for the JL. I do have the full corner done. Okay. Um, I don't Can have it. Chop it off? Basically, they'll look like this when the end run to make them fit around the flare because right. there's nothing in between the door to run the corner back down. You end up with this little corner inch strip and okay. shipping All will right. destroy them. I don't see anybody having any questions about corners. Do you have any other input about corners? We are featuring corners this month because we're coming out with a new product. We're gonna, All our stuff on Facebook is going to be corners. No? Then we could go to our surprise guest. Yeah. Our surprise guest. Oh, look at that smile. They're not going to be able to hear him because of the mics. Look at that. Well overdue. Well overdue. Well overdue. Well overdue. So yes. tell us, Steve, what is it done to you? Um, everything underneath it was redone. So yep. Sean and TNT and Bob, Jason also redid oh my god got rid of the they're not going to be able to hear them got rid of everything on that they put um, four link in the rear three link in the front coil overs all the way around it sean also buttoned up the brakes made it safer dropped it six and a half inch stretched it about about an inch inch and a half more just a little bit longer on it so a lot of different things it actually performs a lot better even at higher speeds which was surprising to me. Um, it's not so shaky and it's not so butt butt green. It doesn't feel. Yes, it's, so, it's not so, so wibble wobble. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Yeah. Yeah, well, it looks all pretty and Jason shiny. Jason did amazing on the front fenders. I love the phantom fenders. Mm -hmm. I love the line he has mm -hmm. on them. Um, everything. Good. Good, good, good. Um, I don't know if I can show everybody underneath here. How, how much lower is it? Six and a half inches lower. Six and a half inches lower. Look at that. And you drove it around, drove it around. this um, morning. Got about 55, 60 miles an hour on it. Did a little bit of stuff off-road. Just found a couple ditches to go through. But I didn't mind. not much off-road yet. Dirty just because it was icy out today. And I didn't want to take a chance with the icy roads. So Took the back roads. Yes. The um, mission was the end of the month. You're going to go somewhere. Where are you going to go? I'm actually taking this for my spring break to Arizona. A friend of mine up there has a jk that he's been building on 45 and we're, he's going to go show me some arizona trails so, so that should be fun. maybe depending on what's going on with work and everything else i might go to ejs i'm not sure yet for the, at least like the last two or three days fun and then be ready Super for rock fest in june in june good yeah, in june. good i so know it took a long time took a long time but it's well worth it you were needing your you were needing your uh, hobby. your hobby, my hobby, your stress yes, reliever. Yes. But today is good to see that smile on your face. It's and running a lot better too. It's a lot, yeah, it's not not as sluggish. I think uh, a lot of the wiring problems that I had, Sean figured out. There was a rat's nest in there, and he fixed that as well. So a lot of different things that TNT did for me that uh, 
above and beyond. It I don't kept, think other it kept, shops were here. How about the next thing? How about yes, the next yes. thing? It, it tends to happen. And it so. happens, especially when it's a, I mean, everything is off, off on it. It's one off. So it mm -hmm. took a little bit more time, which we get. Mm -hmm. and I understand that. Um, but it's like, I think it's going to be well worth it. Yeah, so, good, yeah. good. Well, we'll be watching for your videos on Jack to Jeep. Appreciate it, yes. And, um, of course, we're going to see you get to go wheeling with you, too. Yep. So, I see a few other people on here, but I think, I think we don't have nothing else, right? We done for the day? Yeah. Jason, I'll sign off. Say see you later. Till next Tuesday. Bye.